here I am at Tigerberg Cycles. I am picking up the sickest ride that I am so excited about. Guys, this is gonna be the best few days. Levo, get me to the next descent. Abracadabra. Oh. This is pretty steep terrain and like I'm like just climbing it easily up this jeep track Hey there's zebras up there Let's Start hitting the steep stuff now There's one thing I noticed about this gear shifting is that it's very very clickety click and hard It's like um, when you're shifting it like it's like knocking to the next gear okay usually when I'm here I am completely knackered and uh, yes I'm cool now and I'm hitting this concrete road and uh, this is uh, usually loads of work and I can hear that this motor is working overtime but look how fast I'm climbing this this is usually like a slow hard climb Yes, like, guys, my mind is freaking blown. Wow, holy chopsticks, man. That is flipping unreal. Whoa, hey, there's buck. Those are zebra. Wow, guys. I'm already here at the mast of Quantumans Cliff and I freaking can't believe this. It's off at the moment, so this is all me power this. And I'm cruising down here gradually. Whoa, okay, yeah, man. Guys, this is like This is seriously nice. Whoa. You know what? This man, this is just a bit of a jump there. This is just like next level. This is unfair, man. This is totally unfair. I I want one of these man. It's a bit of a drop there. I mean the grip is mind-boggling whoa okay i'm not cruising down here fast but i'm like i'm just getting the feel of this bike and i'm just cruising down here just feeling it and man this thing is insane whoa that just felt like like too easy no ways what is going on here i wonder what the power mode is gonna just turn it up now I'm on full, okay. That's that is seriously cool. Wow man, that's like turbo mode. It's like a major tar oh, shit. Up ahead there. I see two of those fence crossings, man. Get ready and love up. Yes, they say you don't get a they say you don't get a workout from this. But shit, man. I'm like working my my freaking arms out. So ever said, you don't work out from this bike. He's talking nonsense. You gotta get used to the lever a little bit on the tight 
and uh, technical stuff the switchbacks are all right it just takes a little bit of practice because it just feels a bit weird having all that power on the switchbacks and then you you take it and you're not really prepared for that boost and then it kicks in and it could throw you off a bit on the tighter stuff and uh, in the uh, in the rough more technical stuff as well it does it does feel a little bit weird because you've got this power at your disposal that you're not used to and if you mash your pedals it's it just feels a bit awkward and uh, and it's just the bike just goes and propels itself and if you're not used to it it's a little bit of a shocker but it feels really nice like oh shit oh, oh, oh. okay trees this, this trail is a little bit overgrown so um they don't do much maintenance here but it is a tight technical trail as as you can see yeah it's very stony got lots of loose stones and rocks lying around there's brush and vegetation that hasn't been cut on the trails okay, yeah we've got a bit of stones and loose rocks and stuff so let's see how that does usually this is a bit of a whoa whoa uh Usually it's a bit of a mess with the normal bike. I struggle a bit in that stuff, but with this, it was a little bit of a moment there, but uh, not, not too bad. There, that's what you've got to watch out for. You see, what I did there was I propelled forward into like that, into like a very tight section. So just, I've got to tell myself now, Watch out for doing stuff like that. Like, watch out! Okay, another bit of a techie section coming up here. I can hardly see what's up ahead here. But I know that this is quite a kind of techie and like uh, loose stones and stuff flying around here. Getting in the right gear, getting my pedal sorted out here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, foot dab down because. That was a bit uh, awkward and I didn't want to just pedal through there and just get propelled forward. This is e-bike exploration 101 practice. There we go. There we go. That's what it's all about. Whoa, whoa. And uh, whoa. wrong route. There we go. Specialized has done an amazing job with this bike. You can set the whole bike up via the Mission Control app. You can control all the mechanics and get all the diagnostics from the bike on the app. You can plot a route on the app and that will make sure that there is enough battery life for you to get home and for that specific route that you have planned to ride. This bike really climbs like a monster. And I'm serious, it's a monster on the climbs. The traction on the loose stuff is just amazing. I didn't feel any lifting up of the front end of the bike uh, on those really steep stuff. And I was climbing really, really steep stuff. Uh, on the loose rocks, this bike just grips. That rear end is just tracking the terrain so well. It's like, it's totally mind blowing. You guys have to go and check this bike out. There's just so much power. It feels like you've got like legs like some pro cyclist, man. I just felt like, I felt like a pro. One thing I did find on the technical climbs and technical terrains, like very tight stuff where you're busy riding through a narrow single track and there's rocks on the sides and you've got to weave and bob through that stuff at slow speed. I felt pretty difficult for me to do it. I bet that if I had ridden it uh, a bunch more times I'll get the hang of it and I wouldn't have a problem with it. It's just to get, just to keep momentum. So when you're busy weaving and bobbing through this tight stuff with these rocks and stuff sitting outside and if the terrain is loose you've got to control that throttle with your legs. So you've got to like ease into those pedal strokes and just not give it, you've just got to You've got to plan it and you've got to think about it more than what you would on a normal bike. So just keep that in mind. That's what I found with the technical terrain and the climbing. 
Everything else was like super easy. This thing is like a bulldozer. Everything, even descends, it just demolishes it. This bike weighed in at about 23 and a half kilograms. So the weight and the momentum and the force that this bike just goes through the rocks and handles on the rough stuff and the descents, it's just so planted, so secure. You don't break traction. There's just so much grip. It's just it blew my mind and it was just like it was, it was just amazing like what this bike actually felt like on the descent and I've never felt anything like it the weight of the BB is bringing your center of gravity down and it's just weighing this bike down in all the right places and it's just just you've got just got so much traction from the weight the center of gravity on the bike and those big plus size tires that are just gripping and grabbing and like just holding you steady, keeping you safe. When I shorted some jumps and I didn't land on quite on the landing 100% because this bike is quite heavy so it takes a bit of getting used to and I was just, I was just, just hitting stuff that I was like, yeah, I can just, just do it. And like pin it and you're like bah, and just bang and next thing you like short the landing because of the weight and it wasn't going in as fast as what I usually do and I just landed wrong and it was like a jolt. The weight of this bike, it's very heavy so I just felt the impact quite a bit more than what I would on a usual bike and it was just like a jolt to the system on the landings. The ramp up and the progression is quite heavy at the end stroke of the shock. It is definitely not as fun as what a normal mountain bike is on the descent. It's not as fun because you feel so safe and secure on this bike. Battery life is around about 750 charge cycles. So I would rate uh, about three years out of a battery. So it is roughly about 13,000 Rand or just under 1,000 USD for a replacement battery for this bike. I was getting roughly about um, 35 kilometers out of a battery charge and I was riding pretty conservatively on eco mode, switching the battery on and off and my eco mode was set on the mission control app to 35% motor power. You're gonna do three times the amount of riding on this bike. Seriously, this bike is so fast on this climbs. You just, you just like climb like a beast up there. In no time, you're at the top of the trail and you're ready to hit the descent. This bike is South Africa's solution to not having ski lifts. Seriously, it is. So thank you for watching. I am Wayne. I will see you next time. If you dig my channel, you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Please leave a comment below if there's any questions or anything you want to know. If there's anything you want me to check out, just drop it in the comment. All the specs of the bike I was riding is in the description below and the link to Tigerberg Cycles who helped me out with this bike. You can give them a call and uh, schedule a demo on this bike. Get out, hit some trail, have an amazing week. I will see you guys next Wednesday.